Hey, what's up, people? It's Ainsley. About to do my third uh, movie review, and this time it's I Spit on Your Grave. Um, this review is by special request. Shout out to CD. Um, thanks for recommending this movie. It was. Well, you hear it was by the end of this review. So, where do I start? If by any chance you haven't watched this movie yet, um, maybe you want to watch it and then get back at me, watch the review and then leave some comments because I'm going all out. So I'm going to spoil the movie completely. So if you haven't watched it yet, Maybe you should. Um, I'm sure, you can get it at a DVD store, or um, yeah, maybe some pay-per-view or something. But yeah, definitely check it out. Or you can watch the review, but there will be a lot of spoilers. Now, this story takes place in a little rural town where this writer decides to go and um, write her book you know in a secluded area she rented a small lodge and yeah basically that's where the story begins but um, due to an altercation that happened early in the story <sighs> trust me um, Halfway through, I mean, like the first half of this movie, it, it starts to get nasty. The altercation that she had was with one of the illiterates that lives in this town, a small gang of four. Um, one's retarded, and the other three are not far from that. But yeah, they're illiterate, trust me. So they feel that this town girl is too good to um, come to this town and not talk to them you know treat them like the kings they are so they decide to um, basically push themselves on this girl and yeah it goes from there it's it's pretty it's pretty gruesome <laughs> it's pretty gruesome I can't put it any other way yeah, while watching these earlier scenes where they um really messed with this girl I was thinking I would never want my daughter mother sister girlfriend anybody I know to go through anything like this no matter what the situation is it is it was really horrible and um, I think it really says something about the movie the acting was good it was like I was watching uh, it was actually happening. It wasn't like watching a movie. It was like watching the actual thing happening. So, yeah, they they did well. Um, this movie was released in in 2010, but it was limited release. It was banned in New Zealand, and um, because it's unrated. A lot of people didn't really, you know, get to watch it. So, yeah, it didn't make a lot of money. But if you're into survival, revenge, horror, this is your movie. Trust me. You will love and hate every bit of it all at the same time. Now, there's a part of this movie where um, she's talking on her phone to her friend. And... Um, her phone falls into the toilet. Now, I got to give everybody a tip. It doesn't really have to do with the movie, but if your phone falls in water, obviously try to take it out as soon as possible and put it in rice. Just put it in rice and the rice will suck all the moisture out of the phone. I mean, Taking out the battery and flashing it isn't going to do much, okay? So, just a tip. <laughs> Doesn't really have anything to do with the movie, but... Yeah, use rice. Put down some emergency rice just... to save your phone, or any other electronics you might have. 
after they do all this stuff to this girl, she decides to take revenge after barely getting away because we're talking about four guys gang her and then after she barely escapes finds the sheriff he ends up carrying her back to the house and joining the gang of four so after they do all sorts of unspeakable things to her I mean they plan to kill her don't worry about the shirts it's a different day okay <laughs> yeah so we continue with the review No, I always say this in every horror movie. Who goes outside? Who opens their door when they hear a noise outside and just goes out there? Definitely not me. Mm -mm. The really scary thing about this movie is it could happen to anybody. No, there's a there's a lapse in the movie. There's like a, it takes place over a six week period so um there's a lapse where after she gets away from them and they think she's dead there's a lapse of time that's according to what i heard it's about six weeks because her friend called and it was about a month hold on a second i got a message <sighs> So this girl comes back and she kicks some serious, some serious butt. I mean, she really made them pay for it. And at first I was really pissed. And then, I mean, this movie really throws your emotions around because one minute you're really angry and sometimes it even carries to, to the point when she's doing these things to these guys, you're wondering, how should I really feel about this? I mean, you have mixed feelings, you know. Should I be happy that she's messing them up? Or should I feel sad for these guys who are getting messed up? I mean, trust me, it's a, it's a conflict of emotions. Mm. You may think this is a joke, but at the end of the movie, I was looking for no females were hurt in the making of this film because... I mean, seriously, it is <laughs> gruesome. This movie just proves that men do some stupid stuff when they're idle. Seriously, keep your mind active or else you're going to be as dumb as these dudes. I'm back again. <laughs> the director did a really good job on this movie. I mean, it was really believable. From her running through the forest, which, um, I guess because she was so messed up, she, when her slippers fell off, she, spe she kept on running in that direction, which is kind of messed up. But, yeah, all the actors did a really good job of portraying a really messed up situation. For a survival horror film, I give this movie 5 out of 5. Yeah, I'm being real nice to this movie because I felt everything. It was, was really something. Um, this movie teaches us a couple of things. Number one, if you don't feel safe, don't take any chances. Get the hell out of there. Number two, don't mess around with illiterate people. Something serious will happen. I mean, I've lived that experience and trust me, she learned the very hard way that you can't reason with an illiterate person mm. if the guy who did the original saw was still alive he would be proud trust me this movie really really gave saw a run for its money
And this has been I Spit on Your Grave, the review. And I know I said I was going to do Transformers next, but I'm going to do it in a couple of days. Okay? Peace. Yeah, by the way, the dead them, I was gonna say it come in like saw, dead them sick. Especially the last one. The people who come up with these things, man. <laughs> Trust me. Watch it, please. <laughs> please watch it. Shout out to CD again. Good movie.